Happy New Year's guys, Jeff Lindsay here. I hope Santa brought you what you wanted for Christmas, but did he not? Never fear, the Lindsay way is here because we're giving away somebody a brand new Matthews Phase 4 boat. Go online, pick out the color of your choice, string color of your choice. All you gotta do is let us know below why you think you deserve the boat or why you want the brand new Matthews Phase 4. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you follow us on Instagram, and let us know below why you want it. It's pretty simple. January 15th, we pick a winner. Good luck and Happy New Year. Raining pretty good. I do, however, think they'll move just because the temps have been falling ever since we got the, the daylight. Down here we're going, I'd love to see lightning or there's a chance we can see it has blood. He's coming here. Well, that was my first real encounter with Hasbro, and I'd moved stands around for him. I'd, I'd felt like I'd finally pinpointed him with the cameras and knew where he was going to rut. And I would have shot him that night had he came closer, but I felt like it was a little forced. I really wanted to get my eyes on him, and he just didn't have the mass that a, a fully mature deer here would have. And all I could think about was one more year on that deer. With that drop time, what would he look like next year? So I kind of mentally checked out after that encounter. It was a couple other deer I really wanted to shoot that I felt like were, were older than him and bigger bodies and and not that I wouldn't have been happy with him but you know I always tell people shoot what makes you happy and what makes me happy is just buck at his full potential I know he's not going to get any bigger so I just kind of mentally checked out after that encounter I moved on never went back down in there never moved another stand never checked another camera down there what we call three acre and wanted to go find a different deer you crock rocking today New crocs, so warm. You gonna lie, boys? Slept in an hour. Feels like it's 80 degrees and humid out there. Probably wasting our time, but the calendar. I hope the weather trumps everything. But when the calendar is November 10th. I'm not saying it trumps bad weather, but. The opportunity is always there. It's going the other way. Mainly to 
move some cameras around. There's a couple in here I want to check, so that's kind of one of the reasons we came here, but I already checked one of them, and the flyer buck is in here still. I've just never laid my eyes on that deer. I've had tons of pictures of him over the years. He's a, he's a really old deer. But he would get shot if I see him. I ain't gonna lie. Nice deer. Maybe four, probably three. Just a clean tip. He did. Got me a little, little tree stand snack early. We're mixing it up, boys. I hadn't had a peanut butter cracker all year. Changes tonight. started raining. We got out of here quick. Got a little bog camera right here. We checked it on the way in. There's been one eight pointer come through down this trail. I jumped. I don't know if we jumped or he was with a doe and he seen us or he, what, but he took off running out through that grass. Big eight point I don't really recognize. As soon as we got the stand, we done, we've seen three bucks all cruising. Just temperatures dropping like crazy. It's good. It's good. I normally don't hunt timber in the evening, but this is not your prototypical big timber spot. It's just, we got a cornfield right here. We got grass behind us, alfalfa to our left. Some beans up top there. So we got a, we're just mainly in kind of like a woodlot with little fingers running in all different directions. And we're kind of sitting right in the hub of it. It's a good spot. Been here looking for Blue Angel. Blue Angel and about and then any mystery bucks that want to show that might be like 180 200 inches we'll take one this is a spot that you do get some mystery deer there's a lot of grassland to our north and in the rut you never know what's going to filter down through these draws this is iowa this is iowa hunting right here this is what it's all about
didn't get, I mean, he just walked through our wind, but I'm gonna let him get on past us and try to call him back. He went down! He went down! Let's go! He did it! Wrap him in, baby! I, I see, I, I thought my arrow was stuck in him. And then he fell over, baby, thinking, Jesus! That was awesome, dude! He said, go, go, let's go! Yes! That was... He was like, I think I smoked him. I don't know how far he was. I had to stop him right there. 30 yards on the nose, I took my time, baby. And I thought it stuck in him. Oh, it did. Time out, wait, wait, wait. I mean, he fell down, didn't he? Yes, yeah, he did. You probably don't see your knock. You're like, I think he smoked him. I was like, I think I hit him. I, I, mean, I, I was dead. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I think he was over here. This is. Yeah, we got a unicorn. You found my arrow? Look at the blood. Look at that. Yeah. Where's the arrow, Cash? Hold on. Oh, that's what you call plenty of penetration. We thought we uh, didn't get enough penetration. I was really concerned about that because those rapid tricks penetrate like crazy, but I think my fletch had nicked a limb and it just kind of wobbled. I, we watched that back, but thank God it went about where it's supposed to. All right, where's the blood? I know my light needs some new batteries. <laughs> Look. Oh, he stinks. Goodness gracious. It came out perfect. Holy cow. Jeez. He's, he's bigger than I thought he was in pictures. I thought this brow was broken. It's not broken. Look at this. Look at this. What do you think? Oh no. Yeah. I'm probably going to put him on the wall. All right, hold him up. We gotta put tag on him. Get in the front. Get in the front and hold both horns. Mm 
Well, I don't know we've ever went November the 10th this long till we killed a buck, but we did this year. We've had our fannies kicked and we've seen good deer. We've passed good deer. We've let some deer go. We probably should have shot, but when we get our eyes on what we want, that's just how we have to do. Yeah, and you know, it's always like we always talk about, we don't want to shoot the deer this year that's going to be mature next year or mm -hmm. be the deer that we want to kill next year. So that's just the way we are. Yeah. I told Cole when he started filming, I said, look, I know we're filming for TV or whatever, but I'm a, I'm a terrible TV hunter because I, I want to shoot a deer that we had to pass a bunch to get to the one that we want. And even if they're bigger, the deer I was on last week or a couple days ago that I moved off of that I thought I wanted to kill but didn't because I felt like he, maybe I felt like he was five and a half and just didn't have the mass I was looking for. So he would outscore this deer, but he, don't make me happy like this guy does. He wasn't told this guy. No, he wasn't. This guy, this is why, you know, we well, you know, say it all the time, but this deer last year was probably a 150s 10. We thought he was five or six. Yep. And uh, passed him. Passed him, and then look what he does this year. He just he blew up. Just a heck of a buck. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm, you. I'm happy to get him. I'm, I'm glad somebody killed something, huh? Yeah. <laughs>